What's up, y'all? Toast and Terry once again. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new game I'm going to be showing you a tutorial for called Dual Heroes. And um, I basically found this game while I was looking for a game that was like Yu-Gi-Oh! and or Magic the Gathering. Like, I, I literally searched for Yu-Gi-Oh! or games similar to Yu-Gi-Oh! Enter, you know what I mean? And then I searched for games similar to Magic the Gathering, and this game was on both lists. So, I was like, alright, whatever, try it out. And pretty much, it, it's... Uh, I would say it's like 50% of both games, literally. Like, I can't remember in Magic if you need to sacrifice smaller monsters to get bigger ones and more stars and all that, but you do need mana, right? And these blue things up top, that's how much mana the card costs to summon. The stars, obviously, is just how powerful it is, but if you have a two-star that costs one mana, you can play it with only one, because you can only have a maximum of two mana. So you can play it, but you have to sacrifice another one star to do it. And, you know, I don't know. There's no, like, direct attacks. Or, I mean, there's no battle damage. The only damage is actual, like, direct attack. So, like, here, I'll, I guess I'll just show you the game itself. Um, you can go into challenge or battle. Battle is PvP. I go to challenge because it's, you know, practice pretty much, but I've gone through these six, these six, and I'm on number four, that one, and it's actually pretty tough. But over here, these are, I don't know if these are people or if they're just CPU duelists. I'm guessing they're CPU that act like people, but I don't know. Yeah, Lachlan, whatever, Xander09, I, I seriously doubt that's an actual player, but it could be. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. It's it's pretty convincing if it's not a real player, put it that way. But I'm going to go ahead and start a duel real, real quick. I've never seen it to where the other guy gets to go first. But you flip a coin, and every time it shows me these, and then it says your turn. So, like, I don't get it. You know what I mean? I don't get what the deal with that is. But trap cards, just like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic, pretty much. You, you place cards down that you want to use later in a surprise attack. You know, go ahead and play Warrior Chili or Chilea. Yeah, Chilea. She has Fight Shield, which is the shield around her, obviously. But if somebody attacks her or if another monster attacks her, it just breaks the shield and not her. So that's pretty good. Heavy Axe plus 50 power. So give her 230. But when this weapon's owner fights with, an, with any character, including the human, like the player, Give this weapon's power, or this weapon's owner stun, blah, blah, blah. That's not really the best, but I got a trap down and my monster out, so I'll let them play now. In my turn, I play one face down, two face downs, okay. Three face, wow. This guy must be uh, pretty magic, uh-oh. This thing destroys, here, I'll show you the fatality. It destroys any monster that it battles with, and crack it goes through, like the damage goes through. But, because my damage, wow, I wish I could rewind and actually show you what really happened right there, but he just summoned a 50 power monster, attack my two or my 180 power monster, and then the 30, 130 difference came out of his life points because of this card's effect. Fatality, destroy any minion, fights with this, mi fights with this minion. After this minion fights with a minion, with more power than it, deal to your hero, which is the player, uh, damage equal to the power difference. So that's why you took 130. So, I mean, as you can tell, it's it's uh, fairly similar. I don't have anything to play. Wow. That's rare. It's given me more magic and trap and stuff than... Yeah, there's magic, trap, and equip. Which in Yu-Gi-Oh, magic and equip are the same genre. There we go, there's one person at least, jeez. Stone thrower. I will give her... What is this? Fight shield. Is that an equip card? No, it's, I think it's just a normal spell, so you can just play it. It disappears and they get the effect. But these are equip cards. 
So you actually have to have to uh, equip it, and it stays on the person. Like right there, it stays on her. I attack, weapon destroy, destroys her weapon. That sucks. But it destroys her shield. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, um, what does this do? Give any an enemy minion. Yeah, let's do that. Negative 30, and I'll give her this. Alright, well, now we're set, I think. She throws a rock at the dude. He's stunned for two turns, I think. 150, that sucks. But, see how I don't take battle damage? You only take battle damage through direct attacks or monster effects. And now see how I have two mana? Right there next to my life points in the middle. But this monster is a two mana with one star. That means you can just play it. But it uses both your manas. So, it's like, whatever. Um... Now, there is no battle damage, like I said, but she has penetration as an ability. So, basically, she does do battle, uh, battle damage, or bleed damage, if you will, to where, like you just saw, they had less points. So, the, what do they call him, the hero? The hero took the difference. And now, her effect gives me, one. yeah, I was going to say 120 or something power. That sucks. Now, hopefully, yeah, nothing to do. I might actually lose this duel. This is pretty rare. <laughs> yeah, wow. All right, one more turn. Better get some dice. Nothing. That sucks. Oh, well. Anyway, yeah, that's the game, basically. Um, it's actually a lot of fun. If you like Yu-Gi-Oh! or you like Magic the Gathering, either of those, you will like this game. And, you know, it's obviously no big deal. Like, I started, I don't know, probably a week ago, and at best. I did spend some money buying some cards. Like, you go to this dude. Like, these are the four, um, what's that? These are the four deck heroes you can have. Uh, I forgot what the, yeah, Frey, Natasha, Robert, and Alliant, I guess. And then you can go down and get better packs and, you know... Like, these are level 1 normal packs, these are level 2 advanced packs, and these are extension packs, which I haven't bought an extension pack yet because I'm at not high enough level. But, um, you buy a pack of cards, you know, one pack is a thousand gold, or you use one of the things that you get as a reward, and it's just a free pack, basically. And, um, I don't think I have any of these. Yeah, I don't have any advanced packs either. But anyway, uh, it's three cards out of their entire collection, which this, I mean, all these cards down here is what you can get out of Frey's normal pack. That's not even including his advanced packs, you know, so there's a lot of cards of this game. So anyway, um, it's basically just like a quick little example. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've played this and if you have, uh... How high you got in terms of level and points. Um, if you haven't played this, give it a shot because it's definitely fun. I don't know. It's not really like time consuming or anything like that because you can do a duel real quick like I just showed you and it's over. You know, so it's not like you have to sit down and have like an hour of your time to dedicate to this game, you know, every day or anything like that. But, um, Yeah. Just let me know in the comments, and uh, if you like the game, if you like the video, leave a like. Leave all your comments down below. Stay tuned for more, and as always, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Toasted Ted, and I'm out.